sick announcement is this immediately I wash your feet you check your pain the ministers will be there also talking to you and if you are sick and you are coming to wash your feet you have to raise your hand as a sign of now you are sick before you wash your feet are you listening for this when you are washing if you are not sick just come and stay relax wash your feet and walk away and if you are sick, make sure you raise, you raise what? Your hand until your feet is being washed. When you finish work, the minister will take you as you away and check what has happened to you. The whole entire church, you're going to wash your feet than ever. Let me just um, let me just encourage my colleagues. This is not painting the feet, it's washing it. And you must also be so speedy and wash it properly until when you are washing, love it. Because you cannot wash your clothes and don't love it. Don't just wash it because you are wash it with joy inside you. See, God has given you a good job that has never given it to anybody in the whole world. So you are doing a job that is best. So when you are washing it, you love that feet you are washing because you are connected with it. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Pastor James. Uh, hallelujah, watched, church. We have watched the feet. Yeah, we are experiencing at Remedia's power. We through the washing of feet tonight. Yes. Uh, a bishop. This is a lady who is a first time comer. She came today in deliverance service. It's her first time to be in deliverance service today. Yeah, and she has experiencing a lot of miracles because her husband came, he was sick, and he was healed through deliverance service today. This lovely lady is her first time to be into this congregation. Yes. We just wash her feet. Yes, Archbishop. And what has happened today for her? We have seen that today God has visited her family. Because she came with her husband in mm. the morning service of deliverance. Mm. And the husband was healed. He was having pain everywhere. In the, morning, having, in the morning service. At the deliverance service where you and Pastor Margaret was casting out the devil. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now this lady, she's telling me, when she came here, when she sat down, mm. she was having hip pain. Hip pain? Yes, hip pain. Yes. But immediately you washed her feet. Mm. Now she's telling me there is no pain at all. Mommy, She's tell, tell me how you feel. Tell me what has happened. I can't feel it anymore. Anyway. You can't feel it anymore. You are having hip problem. Yeah. I can't lie down in my right side. You could not lie down on the right side. Yeah. But when... If we, I lie down there within 15 minutes or ten, uh, half an hour, I have to turn to my desk. But the pain has been there. Yeah. What happened when, 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 when I wash your feet and you wash your feet? Just like air blow going out. That air blow going out. Yeah. And your hip is no, no longer having pain. No. Can you check it, mommy? Can you check it for me? There's nothing there. There's nothing. I can't feel anything yet. Huh? I can't feel anything. You can't feel anything. Are you happy to be here for the first time? Yeah, I'm very happy to be You are telling me your husband also came to the service in the morning. Yes. Delivering service. Yes, please. Why are you with him? Yeah, he's around. Were well, you with him? Yeah. And he was healed. Of, he was also healed yeah. at deliverance service. We just received the prayers, or but nothing happened to him. Wonderful. The... Praise the Lord. <laughs> I have a young man here, Bishop. For the past year, he was using this walking stick. For the past one year, yes. this man has been using this walking, walking stick. stick. When his feet was washed with one of our ministers, what happened to him? When his feet was uh, washed, mm. he said his legs, he can walk now. He doesn't think he needs it. That's what he says. And, and his waist has been healed. He had pain in his waist. He has pain in the waist. And it's healed. And the pain in the waist is gone. It's gone. Tell me, young man, what happened? That if I come to you, yes, and you lay hand on me, yes, everything will be over. You believe when you come to me, yes, I lay hand on you, yes, everything will be over. I believe so. Now we wash your feet. How do you feel? How do you, how, what, tell me how you feel. Well, I, my body up here is okay. Can you just walk without this now? I want to see you. Walk there. Walk. Walk there. Walk, walk, walk. Come on, clap your hand and praise the Lord. Clap your hand and praise the Lord. 
Some there, look up. Some this one, lift your leg up and down, up and down. Lift them up. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Now march like a soldier. March, march, march. I'm like, clap your hand and praise the Lord. Look at that, look at that. Lord, yes, Charles. This auntie told me for the past ten years she got arthritis. For the past yeah, ten years. For the past ten years. Yes. She has been having arthritis. Yes, sir. And what has happened today in this service, Charles? To her? Yes, according to her, when her feet was washed, the whole page was failing for the past ten years. She doesn't feel it anymore. Mommy, tell me. I feel a lot better because my knees are very painful when I get up. And to get up is a great pain, but I um, feel a lot better. You feel much better yes, today? Yes, yes. Your knees have been very, very much in pain. Yes. When you get up. Yes. So what has happened this evening when you wash your feet? When I washed, when the Miss, um, pastor washed my feet to see if I was in a trance. I didn't know what was happening to me. What happened? I don't know. And what is what, what did what did you experience in your body? Lifting up. Lifting up. Yes, I, I just was floating. You are floating. Yes. Floating, floating. You are still floating. Yes. <laughs> That's anointing make you to float. Are you happy to be here? Oh yes. Floating. This is the second time. Ah. My God. Yes, this is the second time. And I now, I want you to walk and march like that gentleman to see how you walk. Come on, march there. March there, gentlemen. Look at that. See, just even running. Look at that. Clap your hand and praise the Lord. My dear mommy, look at that. You are floating. Oh, my. Check those pens. Check them. Check them again. Check them again. Clap your hand and praise the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. She's running. Look at that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mommy, check them. Are you okay? Are you happy to be here today? Very happy. I thank you are God. free now. Amen. You are free now. Amen. You are free now. Amen. Jesus bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. She said uh, about a month now, mm. 
She has been feeling like something is sitting on her leg. About a month now, she has been feeling that something is sitting on her leg. There was a heavy weight on this leg. A heavy weight on the leg. Although it was not swollen or any mark mm. to show that something is there, she could feel there is something going what, on. But what that, when that feet is washed, what has happened? She says it's totally gone. Mommy, tell me what has happened, the young girl. When I, uh, my feet was washed, I, uh, Pastor James asked me, if there was anything wrong with my body or if I had pain. And then I told him I had something which was sitting on my uh, leg for quite a while, but then uh, it was not painful, but it is just irritating. The fact that it was something foreign, which was part, not part of my body, mm. I could not feel comfortable at all. I remember last Friday I even told Pastor Charles about it, but then we could not get the oil to anoint my leg when I came over. Mm. So today I just say to myself, I think God will take this spirit away from the body if I go for the anointing of the feet. Mm. Mm. So I just thank God because it, ha it came to pass when I just left. I wasn't too sure whether the pain had gone on, mm. but Pastor James said, keep on checking. Just thank the Lord that it is gone. And after a few seconds, I realized that it has vanished. It, I no longer feel it because the whole service, I was feeling it was there. It was mm. a heavy weight on my leg. You are feeling this heavy weight in it. Yeah. But now it is gone. It is completely what, gone. What, what does it mean to you washing your feet here with the pastors? Sorry, Bishop. What does this mean to you? It means a lot. The pastors are washing your feet in London, England. I... And the heavy weight, the demons in your head, leg just disappear. It goes to show that as long as you are here, everyone is capable of being a disciple of Jesus because the anointing that is upon you, Bishop, is upon all the pastors in this ministry. And I was even confident when you said that these pastors are going to anoint us, that something was going to happen to me because you are not the one who anointed me, but one of the pastors, Pastor Jerry, who did it for me. But Pastor then, Jerry, yeah, and so now you are set free. Now I'm free because praise that, the Lord. That feeling was really it, 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 it praise me. the Lord. Yeah, I just praise the Lord for what has happened to me today. It's not me who was your feet, no, it's Pastor, Pastor Jerry, Jerry, the yeah. French pastor, yeah, he's the one who was your feet, yes, and the heaviness in your feet just disappeared. Go on, yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Jerry, congratulations. one of the mommy of the church she told me that she had an um, ankle pain for ankle about pain. yes for about two three months mm. but good news is that when her feet was washed this evening mm. she doesn't feel it anymore mommy tell me what how you feel tell me tell me oh, i feel i feel okay you feel okay feel it's gone because my feet they are very light your feet has you know, they are very light now. They are very the light day. after they have been washed. Yeah, yeah. Are you happy the Lord heal you when your feet is washed? Oh, yes. What I do you happy. see? This Our church now is people are washed. The pastor are washing feet. 
in this church. What? People what, uh, are, pastors are washing your feet. Well, you're just filling, uh, you know, the, the Bible, the Bible, what the Bible says, you are bringing it to, in practice, doing it in practice. Because Jesus did it to the disciples yes. and said, also we do it to you. So, Congratulations. Oh, church yes this, this lady she said for a month one she, month one month she was feeling pain in her hip pain in the hip there was a sharp pain inside mm. the hip mm. while she was at home she tried to put oil apply oil olive oil on it mm. she said the pain went but it was still there mm. when she came today and she was washed the feet mm. i asked her to check even now i'm saying check it Maybe it's hiding. She said it's not there. Mommy, tell me what have you experienced in this washing feet? Say so what have you experienced this um, was? What has happened to me? Great miracle. The great miracle. Yes. Tell me how your hip was. Uh, Bishop, I yeah. About one month ago. One month ago. Yes. Uh, I wake up in the morning and I just was feeling my hip. I could not have walk. You wake up in the morning and there yeah. were pain in your body. In you couldn't feet. walk. Yeah, that's, yeah. So I take some olive oil and I yeah. rub my and I pray. And it was a little bit better. Yes. But um, now I came and I, mm. my feet wash and everything gone. Everything gone. Yes. Everything gone. Even the crawling in my head and my face. You don't feel gone. it. I feel something I just sitting down there. Something fell off my head. So you had something was crawling in your face and your head. In my body, in my head. In your body. But when your feet was washed, the hip problem gone, and that thing also left. Yes. Which was crawling in and moving head. into your body All and your face. My face as well. Are you happy to have this service tonight? Yes, Bishop. Congratulations. Lord. Amen. This morning we got a very big miracle. 
she told me since 1995, mm. she had a breathing problem. She couldn't Bre breathe. Breathing problem. Yes. And yesterday. The, see, since 1995, which is now almost 14 years. That's correct, Bishop. She has been having breathing problems. Yes. And that the miracle happened when she took the Holy Communion. Oh, yesterday. Yes. We had Holy Communion. Yes. And the miracles happened to her on her breathing because of Holy Communion. Yes. And today, when she put her feet in, in the oil, she told me the whole of her, her body, she felt very hot. Today, and, when she we was her feet, yes, she felt fire, hotness in her body. Yes, and the pole pain she got for about one month, they all disappeared. So, mommy, what do I want to say? Because it seems that this God has been on your side. If the Holy Communion minister to you yesterday, and the breathing problem, which has been there for 14 years, is gone. Tell me what do you feel and what do I want to say? I, I just, I thank God for the healing. Because the, you thank God for healing? For the healing. Because the lungs have been giving me problem, give me cough. I will be coughing, coughing, coughing nonstop. Doctors tried all in vain. Uh, X-ray upon X-ray. But I thank God that the Lord has done it for me. Immediately I put my leg into that oil. Mm. As if it is hot water, I put my leg inside. Mm. Hot. I wanted to even remove my leg. Because it was because hot. hot. So immediately I got up. It was then I fell down. And I feel relieved. You, are lungs as, you have lungs problem. problem. Doctor has tried to cure you here in the UK. Yes. And nothing has happened. Yes. And now yesterday when you took Holy Communion, you are breathing, which has been wrong, bad for 14 years. You got it back. Yes. And today, when you put your feet in the hall, you feel hot. Yes. And now you thank God for healing you. Yes. I also thank God for healing you. Yes. Look at this lady who is giving her testimony. For the past 14 years, she has had lung cancer in the United Kingdom. She said, doctor has tried. They have done all sorts of x-ray. They have done everything they could. It does it not work for her. But her healings was yesterday by Holy Communion. And that Holy Communion, some people are now taking it like water of your fridge. Hope is faith. Faith comes by hearing and by that of God. If people are being healed of this Holy Communion and washing the feet, how dare are you? You can just wash it like a child going to swim in a swimming pool. Raise your hands up, those people are in this place. May the Lord of glory be upon you. When we wash your feet, may the Spirit of God come upon you. May his kingdom reign upon you. As we are washing the feet of the people, we wash away their immigration problem. Amen. We wash away their financial problem. Amen. We wash away their marriage problem. Amen. We wash away anything that is in their life that is stubborn in the name of Jesus. Only the people who have faith and expecting to receive in Jesus' name.
Margaret, what has happened to this lady after washing her feet? Margaret? Uh, hallelujah, Bishop. What she said is that she, for two years, she has had le uh, leg pain in, in, in both her legs. And also she has had pain in her, in her right hand. And she had to go to the doctors. And she's had x-ray, she's been to the doctors, and they wanted to operate her. There was a moving object in her right hand. For the last two years. Last two years, Bishop. There have been in her body a moving object. Moving object, Bishop. And this today, Monday, when her feet was washed, what has happened to her? She says definitely the moving object is gone from her right hand. And her feet, she says, they are loose and light. And you said that it has been, there, been tried to be cured by doctors and it failed. They actually wanted to operate on her. She has to see them for an she, operation. She is supposed to go for operation. She's supposed to go for operation. Mommy, what has happened when the pastor of Gilbadea Ministries washed your feet? Thank you. 
um, this evening, before I left home. Before I, you left home. I, let, let them testify. Go, don't touch the of microphone. Of what is happening. I'd love to give the testify what happened this evening. Yeah, can you let right. us hold the microphone for you? Okay. Yes. When you, you can, left home right. this evening, where do you live? I live in Forest Gate. In Forest Gate. Yes. And what happened this evening before you left home? Thank you. You were on the television. We were watching the television. And you mentioned, you said, that it doesn't matter what relevant anybody can be, either pastor, church workers, and they, you are here till 11 o'clock, and my husband is complaining pain. I said, Andrew, can we just go? I know we are far from there, but I know you cannot walk. We better take a mini cab because it's about 9.30. Mm. So I rushed to dress and he rushed to dress. So I called the mini cab. I said, how much will, will, will it take to take me to Homeside Street? Mm. And they said, he said, 21 pounds. I said, that's no problem. Mm. But how am I going to get home? He said, phone me, I'll call back. He said, make everything 50. And I said, that's OK. Because mm. I love to be coming to this ministry, but being that my husband is elder, he cannot work much. Mm. Last time we came here was 1906. Mm. And then you make him work the first time. And, the, and you work for me as well because that was demonic, it troubled me at that time. They want to make me have a stroke. And you did the work for me. And I said to myself, with the pain I had, I know if we get over here, well, I'll be healed. Tell me again, right. your husband was here in this ministry two, two years ago, 2006. Yes. And he could not walk, yes. and my Jesus made him walk. Yes. So today when we start washing the feet, and I'm saying we are here after 11 o'clock, you make a decision to come in a taxi. Yes. And the taxi charged you 21 pounds. Yes. And you told them, how will you go back? And they say, you can call them to take you back. Yes. Now you came here. That's the testimony you want to tell us. So what has happened to you now, a woman of faith like you? Now what happened is, when you watch, as soon as I came in, I saw one of the usher. I said, we, are, we came. Are we not late? He said, no, go and take a seat. And then the, the next thing, a woman came to me and said, come and be in the queue. I said, oh my God, you are great. Because I'm the first one you want the food for. Uh. So, yes, this evening, because I said, God in my front, God at my back, God at my right side, my left side, I want Gilbadeya to work for me. Uh. And I'm the first one on the, I said, my Lord, you are great. So he walked, he walked my, he, 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 he anointed my foot with the oil. So later, what I feel that my body was coming hot. From Coming the bottom home. to my head. My God. The, between the five minutes, they, on my left hand, of course, they said I have arthritis. Mm. I couldn't walk, lay, like, stand like this. Look I at had that. to hold something to stand. But I don't notice I can stand. I shake my leg like this. I said, nothing. Oh, my God. So. In those legs, you could right. not walk them. Can you lift them again? You could not do that. Yes. There has been arthritis there. Yes. And there's nothing there. No, Mommy, no. do it again. Who had to check it? Come on, come on, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Can you believe she started walking from home from Forest Gate at 9 p.m. And she came here when we stopped. And when we start again, I started with her. And look what has happened to her. Amen. Margaret, what we are doing here is benefiting people. It is, Bishop. This woman is not a member of this ministry. She just brought her husband in 2006, and her husband could not walk, and she said, I made him to walk. And her husband is elderly. But today, he say we are watching the, we are watching the feet, and I say anyone can come, and she made her way to come. After 9 o'clock. After nine o'clock, yes, and she do. took a taxi. Mm. Now I tried this for two years, expecting to go for operation. 
What's the benefit? Is this is too great? It's too awesome, Bishop. It's awesome. It's worth waiting for. It's worth working it's for. Worth it. For six hours, Bishop. It's worth it. It is worth it. And again, the amazing is just us, Miguel Badea. God is using like this. I just want to praise you. Amen. Mommy, are you happy for you are here today? Even though you came, you started walking from nine o'clock. Are you happy? Definitely. I, I am happy because God is on your side. Amen. Mm. And God will continue to be at your side and on this ministry. What do you mean that God is on my side? Because I've seen so many work you have done for people. I will even take a pen and write everything down. Because a woman in Nigeria, her daughter was pregnant for a few years. Four years. Four years. I was watching telly on that night. And the woman, woman came here from Nigeria, and he got well, and she got healed. And the baby and the daughter have twins. Mm. I said, oh, what a miracle. What so a miracle. My, my husband was saying that God will sweet give a jail. This is what he God. said. He said, he, see, he said he's seen God from, from face to face. This is mm. the type of man he is. F the husband said, I'm still going from strength yes. to strength. Yes. What happened with this lovely mama? This lady has been having arthritis. Stiff. This heart has been stiff. She could not be able to move the fingers. This lady, yeah. this lady had a stiffness of arthritis, of arthritis in, her hand. in her hand. Yes. And what happened with this lady's hand after washing the feet? Yeah, immediately you, 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 you wash her feet. She woke up and when I was telling her to check it, she told me it has gone. It has gone. It Mommy, it is not there. No more dear, you can see. <laughs> Look screaming. at this. But before I couldn't uh, fall, I couldn't uh, oh. do it like this. It was uh, very so bad that I couldn't, you know, open my hands. Did widely. you did, did you introduce yourself to your doctor? Um, I haven't been to the doctor for it all along. I've been thinking it would uh, ease off. Yes. You know, but the more I left it, the more it kept on. So, uh, washing your coming. feet, your, uh, your hand got healing. It got healed, and I, I had this wonderful uh, feeling of uh, like electri electricity on my whole body, you know. When your pain was washed, you feel electricity all over your yeah, body. The, which I haven't felt before, you know. It's just like an electrical thing. Going that is wonderful. Over. Pastor James. So I was so happy about it. Pastor James, electricity from the olive oil. What? Yeah, he, she told me she was, uh, she felt like, as if she was electrified by a, dear, a certain power. Some people are feeling burning. Some people are feeling electric. This is God. Yes, because she was, she was, she was doing as if she was shivering when she was coming. Shivering. Yes, yeah. like she was shivering. I think what we have done here, as Andrew has said, yes. that God schooled me in the night yes, to do sure. what to do and what not to do. Yeah. But to see there is electric fire yes. after washing the feet, the feet and the arm being healed. Mm. And these are medical sickness. Yeah, they are medical. And this, no one can challenge this. Nobody, Bishop, no one. No one can argue with this. No. 
Mommy, you are very intelligent with your experience of education. To see God is healing you by washing the feet. Face the people and talk to them. I thank God for bringing me to this church. Mm. You know, I, since I came into this church, it's just wonderful. I have been receiving series of blessings, you know, both in my family and uh, personal uh, blessings. I love being here. Many, many of my friends who have come have sort of uh, went away, but uh, I'm sticking it here because God is here. God is using you as a man of God. He's doing wonderful things through you. And uh, I really hope people should find their way here and get their problems solved because God has anointed you to do things that not many people can do. And uh, anybody that's been jealous of you is wasting his time because God has ordained you to help people and to do his work. Thank you very much. Bishop, you washed the feet of this young lady. I did. Yes. And when she touched the oil and you washed her, her feet, she said, were hot on fire. Hot on fire? Hot on fire because they were jerking. She tried to steady <laughs> them, now, but they were just now, dancing. Now, Margaret, just on Friday, I thought about God is fire. That's right. This our God now. Being a fire is appearing in olive oil. In olive oil, Bishop. It's amazing. So, Margaret, what do you have to say about this? It's ocean. Our God is no respecter of anything, Bishop. It's amazing. Faith can do things. Do, do you know what we are doing here to the world is stupid and foolishness? It is. It looks but stupid. But to us, it is life. It is life. Because what changes that people receive, we definitely aware that God is in it. Amen. Andrew said that God schooled me in the night. Mm -hmm. That's not a small word. It isn't. <laughs> and this age to say that. It isn't, Bishop. What do you want to say, young girl? I just want to thank the Lord because it was hit all over my body. I believe I'm being delivered because I'm having severe bad dreams. You believe because of the heat? Yes, because it was When I wash your feet, yes, it was like when that. around your body, mm. you believe you have been delivered because you normally have horrible, serious bad dreams. Yes. And you are happy to see I wash your feet. I am very happy. <laughs> God bless you.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Charles. This, this lady, she's a French lady. She's from Avricos. She's from Ivory Coast. Avricos, yes. She came back from Avricos for the past eight months after she started laying foundation of her house. And since then, her left hand was paralyzed and her waist was full of pains. The lady is from Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, yes. And she came here. She traveled home and she came back eight months ago. She came here eight months ago. No, she traveled to her country. And she oh, came back. she went to Ivory Coast yes, yes. eight months ago. Yes. I do remember she's the one that her son was having difficulty in court that okay. the judges make um, pardon to her, to, her to, to him. And I do remember she was in a yellowish attire of African black dress. Even if she changed like this, I can't forget her. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not the one? Um, she's the one. You are the one. Yes, I'm the yeah, one. That your sound testimony we had about it. So what has happened to you today? She was okay, big. People of God, I just want to thank God again mm. for what he's, he has been doing for me. Mm. He starts and I know that he's going to do more for me mm. because since August, I went back home mm. to do my foundation. Mm. Um, when I left there, I came back to London. I started getting ill. Mm. My left side mm. from my arms to my leg mm. I was getting paralyzed when I can't wake up from my bed when mm. I wake up it's like I'm getting paralyzed mm. I can't walk properly and uh, I was thinking that maybe it's a uh, romanticism mm. was starting because the place I walk is about 10 years is in a food factory the place mm. is cold mm -hmm. I said no maybe I've been working there for long so it might be um, the call, mm. and I have a phone call from a pastor who prayed for me before um, the down, uh, uh, before we start the, the foundation. Mm. He said there is a spirit of paral paralyzing. Mm. Yes, they have uh, put on your line, mm. but it's, it looks like you know you have to go for a deliverance service to get your de uh, your deliverance because I can see that it's not. Is you are you will be paralyzed. And I did not hear that because you go back to your country accent. Yes. You are telling me that yes. you went back to your country. Yes. On August, which is eight months ago. Ago, yeah. And then when you came back to United Kingdom, mm -hmm. you discovered that you have a terrible pain on your yes. arm, mm -hmm. going back to your down on your left side. Yes. It seems that you are paralyzing. Yes. And you thought that is a normal because you are working in a food a food factory. Yes. Maybe because it is cold. Yes. And the pain persisted. Yes. So a pastor said to you that it seems that you have a spirit of paralysis. Yes. You're paralyzed. Yes. But today when you came, that's what I want to know. Yes. What has happened when your feet was washed? Okay. Before I get my feet washed, I've been um, coming to Pastor James and uh, in deliverance service. Yes, for Pastor prayers, James, yes. Pastor James and Pastor Margaret. Yes, the two are conducting deliverance service in the morning. Yes, 11 a.m. every day and seven in the evening. Yes, so you have attended those services. Yes, and the Lord has touched you there. Yes. And um, after that, but the pain was still there, but not like before. Not as much as before. Yes, but today, when I get my feet washed, washed. I, I, I feel that my leg become light. It become and, light? Yes, and even my shoulder. And your shoulder can, become light? Yes, I can even move my You shoulder. can even move yes. and box anybody play with you. My bones. Come on, clap your hand, the pressure, Lord. What a mighty God, Gilbert Day, I challenge and James and Margaret and Mono and others and Pastor Buck and Jerry we shop. Come on. Somebody praise the name of the Lord.
Yes, Archbishop. This is a lady who is a, a, a regular member of our deliverance service. But today something happened into her hand. Because this she, has, yes. she, she is a regular attendance yeah, of, deliverance. of deliverance service yes, she, at 11 a.m. In, in the morning, the morning. and 7 p.m. in, in the, the evening. evening. Yes. <coughs> Where are you and Pastor Margaret? Yeah. Are ministering to feet. Yes, Archbishop. And this evening, she attended the washing of the feet. Yeah, when she came here. What happened when her feet was washed? See, when, when she washed her feet, she started manifesting. From, when, because she felt heat from her feet, started manifesting. When I washed her feet, yes. she felt a heat from and her feet. started manifesting. Yes. Mommy, what did you felt when I was washing your feet? I see like fire for my body. Just wanna. You feel like fire on your body. Yeah. And uh, 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 Pastor James, she touched me for my, my leg. Mm. She said, check your pain, check your pain. I did say, I tell you, I got pain for my leg. I tell I feel, oh, I see fire. Fire. But, yeah. Let me hear from you again. When I wash your feet, mm. you feel electric fire on you all over yeah. your body. Yeah. When I finish washing your feet, Pastor Jim touched your finger yeah. and you felt fire again. Yeah. And then the pain which was in your body disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy? I'm happy. You are very, very happy. Yeah, thank, you. thank you very much. Is watching the feet, and we have such a wonderful testimony. And today, we all of us wash the feet. You have heard each and every pastor who was the feet. There is a testimony. Andrew and others who were the apostles was, I not wash them, but they received the same fire. Pastor Jerry is here at the middle. He's a friend-speaking church, pastor at Gilbadea Ministry. And sincerely, we have had the evidence that people are saying, when Pastor Jerry, when Pastor Jerry, when Pastor Jerry. The work we are doing here is not one man's soul. And it's not something that we can say that we are do I'm doing things in my own self. The only thing you should understand now is not only Gilbadea. I have managed to. Um, Mommy, you are coming up here. You bring your donation. Okay, thank you very much for donation of uh, Thanksgiving for Jesus. They are retired officer. Can they take tax pay, please? Bless you. Viewers, if you are watching the program and you have been watching DVN, we are not doing our own business. We are doing God's business. The evidence is the testimony coming out of this. But listen to me, my brethren. If you are looking for a place to worship, you are in the United Kingdom and London, we are here for you. Don't die with your sickness and your problem. We want your blessing. Pastor James said the following word, Pastor Jerry, 
Hello, church. We thank the Lord for everything that is doing in this ministry. We are happy today because of this work of God that we are doing here. And we thank the Lord to increase more anointing on us to do the work of God. May God bless you to be here. And I know God have a good plan for you in Jesus' name. I want to thank the Lord who has given us this opportunity this evening to know and to taste that indeed the Lord is good. Because the Lord did this work with his own disciples. And he has urged us among us the modern day believers to do the same, to follow in his footsteps, to serve each and every other person. We serve God first, and then we serve each other, just like he was willing to be a servant. May the servant heart of the Lord go with us from this place to know that it is better to serve our fellow man, and God will surely bless us. I want to thank Archbishop Dare for his tireless work and the teaching and the discipline that he is teaching us daily. May he increase from level of anointing to another. In Jesus' name. You are watching DBN Dea Broadcasting Network and also we are seeing miracles of washing of the feet. So may God of miracles, signs and wonders bless you all and keep on watching DBN. The viewers, we give you a holy kiss and the blessing of the Lord be upon you. And grace on the mighty hand of Jesus Christ be with you, even if it has been difficult for you to reach us. But the anointing is in your house. And God bless you so much. DBN. Oh,